Hello, this is David Allen, and you are watching Sporting Icons. So, the White Rhino, Dave Allen, of course, can be taken on. David Price this weekend on the Dinny White Oscar Rivas undercard at the O2 Arena, Sky Sports, Box Office, all that good stuff. Has confirmed that should he get past David Price, and he's very confident that he will, he's already signed to fight Alexander Povetkin only six weeks later. So, a couple of points on this one. I think six weeks between David Price and Alexander Povetkin, not long at all. Because remember, it's not always about the fight, it's about the training camps. And fighters need to rest. Um, hopefully Dave Allen won't be burnt out. Um, I'd um, for me, I'd love to see Dave Allen go into Alexander Povetkin fresh, to be honest with you. Have like a little bit of rest after David Price, then put in a proper training camp, and then have um, Alexander Povetkin. Either way, that is one serious, serious test. But first of all, Dave Allen versus David Price, that is not a gimme for either fighter at all, not a gimme. Um, David Price punches very, very hard. Of course, we always say that, but Dave Hallen does have a very, very good chin, or at least up to this point, but has he ever been hit as hard as anybody as like David Price? Well, we'll have to wait and see how he handles it. Will he get rid of um, Price early doors? If he does, then sure, I can see why not six weeks time for a Dave Allen versus Povetkin. Ideally, in an ideal world, it'd be about three months time, but anyway, it's what it is. But what a fairy tale story that would be, though. Dave Allen, you know, considering that he had virtually zero amateur fights and he's already been in the ring with the likes of Tony Yoka, Dillian White, Luis Ortiz. Um, he's defeated Lucas Brown. If he defeats David Price as well, that's another huge scalp. And of course, a Nick Webb as well. And then goes in and chins Povetkin and then gets a world title fight. The Doncaster lad has done well. Real, real well. Of course, I've had um, Dave Allen on the channel plenty of times. Real nice guy. And he's one of these guys that I would love, absolutely love to see him get an opportunity at a world title. And of course, put a lot of money in the bank because a fight between him and Povetkin, there's going to be some serious bread on the line, isn't there? There really is. But in reality, even though Povetkin, he is getting older a little bit now. He hasn't had a fight since. Um, the Anthony Joshua loss, but he is younger than Luis Ortiz. Remember that, people. He is a former world champion. Remember that, people. Luis Ortiz is not. So, Povetkin is actually more dangerous than Luis Ortiz, and Dave Allen did actually hang in there with Luis Ortiz and was only one second away from the final round as well. You could probably argue that the referee stopped the fight too early, but at the same time, Dave Allen's tongue was shredded. Um, so, who knows, but Dave Allen's really got to hope that Povetkin is on the slide. He really has. Because that is one hell of a risky, risky fight. But if he gets past David Price first, then Povetkin? Come on now. That would be a fairy tale story. For me, I would love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. I wouldn't put it past Eddie Hearn to put it on pay-per-view. I really wouldn't. But if it does, hey, listen, man, I'll pay for it. Um, I think Dave Allen deserves all the luck he can get. That's my opinion. He's a real nice, likeable guy. But anyway, first things first, take care of business this weekend. David Price. Anyway, for me, I'm picking uh, Dave Allen to win. Hopefully he does win. As much as I love David Price, I am more of a fan of Dave Allen for biased reasons, as you guys know. Anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next one.